For the following exercise, write an equation for the line graphed. All right, so what does it mean to write an equation for the line? Well, first thing I want to do is kind of understand the general nature of this line. Is it a quadratic? Is it linear? Is it quartic? You know, what, what is it? Well, it looks like a linear line. So what I do is I start with my general equation for a linear line then, right? Y is equal to mx plus b. And to find an equation, you might say, well, there's the equation, we're done. Well, not exactly, all right? To find an equation, so to, this is the general form of a linear line. To find the actual equation for this particular line, we need to know two things. We need to know the y-intercept, and we need to know the slope. Basically, we need it to look something like this. y is equal to, I don't know, 5x minus 10, you know, something like that, right? This would be an equation now that we could plug into the calculator, right? You know you could plug that into the calculator and it spits out a line. You plug this into the calculator, nothing's gonna happen. So basically what I need to do is figure out those two pieces, all right? So why don't we first find, since we have a picture, all right? The first thing I wanna do is see if I can just identify simply by looking at the picture um, what the y-intercept b is. So I notice that right here, the graph crosses that y-axis, it looks like beautifully at one right? So that easily tells me what the y-intercept is. The y-intercept will be that value, 1, okay? Remember, the y-intercept is the y-value at which this graph crosses the y-axis. So let's say if it crossed the graph here, well, that's not exactly perfect. That looks like about 3 now, right? That would have been about 3, all right? So this looks pretty good to me at 1. So that's probably, that should be most likely that y-intercept. Now, I want to find the slope. Now you can do this in two ways. Either you can pick any two points. You got to be certain that you know those points. You can plug in any two points, all right, and then solve the slope using the slope formula down here. Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. Or you can simply choose one point on the graph and use this equation to solve for the slope. Watch. Let's assume I choose this point. This point looks like it lines up beautifully with uh, 3 and 3, right? So the coordinates of that point will be 3 comma 3, right? This is my x, this is my y. So now, I know an x value, I know a y value, and I also know a b value. There's only four things in this equation, y, m, x, and b. If I know three of them, I can always solve for the fourth, doing some algebra. So let's do it. All right, let's plug it in. The y value I defined to be 3 for that particular point. The slope I'm trying to find, and the x value was also 3, okay? Plus then the y-intercept, which we found to be 1. So now all I have to do is solve this for m. So it looks like we have 3 is equal to 3m plus 1. I got to get the 1 away, right? So we got to subtract it. And here we go. We're going to get a value now of 2 is equal to 3m. You can reorganize this if you like. Right, you can just move this on over to that side, this on over to this side. It makes it look a little nicer, right? And then M, so you got to divide three of uh, out of both sides. And as you can see, the slope, and I'm going to put the slope over here now. The slope is then equal to two thirds. Okay, so that's the slope. The other way to have done it would have been to find another point in addition to this, and then find the M that way. Watch. Let's pretend we chose, I don't know, well, let's pretend we chose this one, okay? So if I chose that point as well, the coordinates for that point would have been, let me put them over here, the coordinates for that point would have been 0, comma, 1. Now, call this one your first set of points and call this one your second. So this would be my x1, y1, this would be my x2, y2. And plug them in now according to our slope formula. So watch, slope is equal to y2 minus y1 all over x2 minus x1. The slope here will then be equal to y2 I defined to be 3 minus y1 which was 1 all divided then by x2 which is 3 minus then x1 which is 0. Right so what does this work out to be? m will be equal to 3 minus 1 is 2 3 minus 0 is 3 and look they're the same. Okay so it didn't matter which way you did it but there's both ways. Now put it all together. Now that you know your slope and your y-intercept, write out the equation. Okay, so the equation here will be y is equal to 2 thirds x plus 1. Voila. 
Guys, thank you for tuning in. Appreciate it very much. Please remember to help us out and subscribe and tell your friends if you found this video helpful, they might as well. All right, have a great day.